Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I pray that you guys are doing well. May the peace of God be over you and reign over you, your family and your household. And I just ask God that no matter what you are going through, may he just send you God wings to constantly remind you that no matter what is happening or what isn't happening, that he is still in control. May God just reassure you that victory is yours in Jesus' mighty name. I know that I have been a little distance from YouTube, but I believe that now things are going to go back to normal and I believe that um that old routine that we had, if I may call it that, it is now coming back it is now coming back and i want to start off by sharing a word with you guys that the lord has given me um this word is part of another word that the lord started speaking to me about last year that i have not released yet but this is what the lord wants me to share with you guys right now um the lord has always taught me the principle of sowing and reaping right and one of the things that that the lord has constantly um always made me aware of and has always you know spoken to me about is that in areas where you're lacking in areas where you need something always sow right always so always so always so so before i go into any warfare before i do anything i always so and um the sowing that god has been that god has always spoken to me about it's not always you know with money there are different ways of sowing um with the things that god has spoken to me about but as the lord gave me this word as the lord gave me this word he spoke to me about the principle of activating certain things you know activating things and knowing that by doing the thing that god has called you to do it is also an act of faith it is you trusting god for what he has said it is you trusting the prophecy that has come from the man or woman of god and it is you showing god that because you have said it i can actually you know put in all my coins because i know that no matter what i will come out victorious so with this word the with the word of last year that god gave me he took out just a specific piece that he wants me to share with you guys if we open our bibles in in Psalms 45 verse 12 it says wedding presents pour in from those of great wealth the ro- the royal friends of the bridegroom shower you with gifts as the lord spoke that to me that's what he says that will actually happen that will actually be happening And I know that right now it is kind of sensitive. It is kind of weird talking about the promise of marriage, knowing that there are like 58 days until 2022, right? And I just want to say that I have gotten myself to a place of just saying that the promise still stands, right? Regardless of when it happens, how it happens, the promise is marriage the promise is whatever that god has spoken to you about and when the lord took me back to this word i remembered that this is what the lord is saying to many of us there are a lot of people that there are a lot of people that will be showered with gifts there are a lot of people that during the journey or the process the preparation of their wedding day that they are going to get gifts 
coming in from left and right. There are going to be a lot of significant gifts that will be showered to you. There are going to be a lot of things that you won't spend your own money on. And this is the promise and this is what God is saying. It reminds me of a word that I had released where the Lord used the scripture where Jesus said to the disciples, go without food, go without sandal, do not take anything extra, just go. And as you go, those things will be provided. And the Lord was speaking that concerning our marriage that do not be scared to us. Do not be scared to get certain things because he will take care of it. The bill is his. And he's reminding me of this right now as I am releasing this word. And the instruction that God had given me when he spoke about this, he first reminded me of how I have spoken to people and people, you know, have told me that, hey, I got, someone sent me an offering or someone gave me this and this person said that this is for my wedding day. This is for when I get married. The person sent me this and told me to buy something for my home. The person told sent me this and told me to buy something, you know, that I can put in that car when I get that car. The Lord started reminding me of all of that. And the Lord started reminding me of even people that have sown into me for my wedding, for my home, and people that I have sown into, you know, for their wedding, for their home, for whatever it is that the Lord has led me to sow into. And the Lord spoke to me about an activation and showing that, Lord, regardless, I still stand. Uh, your word still stands, sorry. Regardless of what I'm feeling, regardless of what is going on, regardless of the month, the year that I am in, I know that your promise still, still stands. I know that I can trust what has come out of your mouth because you have never failed me and you won't start now. I know that I can give in all my coins because your word does not return to you void. The words that you have released, they are doing what they are meant to do for my life. And if it's taking weeks, taking hours, taking months, that's okay because I know that it's going to come to pass because it comes from you and you alone. And the Lord took me, and let me read just another scripture. He took me to another scripture. And the scripture is in the book of Luke. The book of Luke chapter 21, starting from verse 1 to 4. And it says, And Jesus looked up. He saw the rich putting their gifts into the temples, into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of the out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. When the Lord took me to the scripture, the Lord was speaking to me that it's not the amount. It's not how big. It's not how small. It's not the gift, right? It's not how valuable the gift is, but it is the obedience of your heart. It is you giving what God is telling you to give. This woman gave in those two small copper coins, because that's what she had heard in her spirit. That's what God had told her to give. You know, all the other people, they were giving so much. They were giving a big amount, but that wasn't what the Holy Spirit was telling them to give. That wasn't the instruction of the Holy Spirit. The poor widow gave in two coins those two coins that she gave in was what she heard and what she heard happened to be all that she had what god wants from us is for you to sow in 
to someone that you know is in a similar condition or even someone that you already know is about to get married, is about to move into a new house, someone that is in need of something, whatever it is, you know, God wants you to sow in to that person. God wants you to put that seed on the ground. And you can even use that personally for yourself. I was speaking to a friend of mine and I told her, you trust in God, you know, for this and this and that. So buy something that you can put in what you will trust in God for. That when he gives it to you, you will use that thing. And while you are waiting for it, you can look at the thing and say, God, I bought this because I know that I am going to use this in my promised land. I know that I am going to enjoy this in my promised land. And this is you putting seed on the ground. And this is you telling God that, hey God, I trust you. And this is you also telling the devil that no matter what is going on around me, the promise still stands. And most importantly, this is you blessing. God has called us to bless. If God tells you, hey, just buy a chocolate for this person and tell them, hey, this chocolate is for you when you when you move into that new house and you know you are relaxing there, this is a chocolate that I want you to eat when you get there. If it's to buy them a cup or a mug, hey, this is for you to have your coffee buy the shoes for your sister that is about to get married buy you know earrings for your sister like whatever it is even if it's small don't think that it's insignificant we saw that the widow that had two copper coins it was not it, it was not insignificant it was actually what moved the heart of Jesus it was actually what got her to be mentioned in the Bible. So this is the word that I wanted to share with you guys. That marriage gifts are coming to many of us. Marriage gifts are your portion. And, and they are going to be showered over you. And because you know this is true. Because God has been speaking to you about. Activated. And also bless someone. Bless someone. This will also encourage them. This will speak, you know, to whatever they are going through, to that doubt, to that fear. You will be a God wink to this person. Let God use you to minister to the heart. Of the person that he leads you to. So be led. Be led by God. Let God lead you. Let God direct you. Let God speak through you. If God just wants you to write a letter. Whatever it is. Just do it. Because you are also activating. You are putting your seed in the ground. So that you can reap the showers of wedding gifts so that when you know you are getting married and you hit a little roadblock you can go back to God and pull out your receipts and be like hey God I have sown and your word says that what we sow comes back after its own kind so I have sown I have put the seed of gifts in the ground and I believe that that's what I am going to reap. So whatever is blocking me from reaping this, it has no chance. Because your word is true. Your word trumps everything else. And nothing can stand in the way of your word. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to encourage you guys um, in doing that and see and just see how God is going to show up for you guys. I love you guys. Bye-bye.